Hey, my ladies and my gents. I'm Stephen Tosher, and this lovely lady right here is my mom. Hey, mama, how you doing? We have a banner. All right, so on today's episode, we are going to be making zucchini bread. Now, I've never made zucchini bread before, so this is our first time while trying this on camera, and I'm really excited because zucchini bread is awesome. We are going the raisins and walnut route, but you can go with dark chocolate chips, you can go with different types of fruits, you can put lots more, a little more zucchini, but this is the way that we found uh, was working best over all the people that we had spoken to. All right, so I'm just gonna jump into the ingredients list now. Here we have two eggs at 140 calories. We have one cup of brown sugar at 800 calories, three cups of uh, grated zucchini at 60 calories, two thirds of a cup of mar uh, butter at 1100 calories, which will be melted in the microwave in a moment, three cups of whole wheat flour at 1400 calories, we have one third of a cup of raisins at 150 calories, one third of a cup of walnuts at 300 calories, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, uh, which is around uh, 10 calories, and we have um, one uh, tablespoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of baking soda, and half a tablespoon of nutmeg. The total on this table will be around 4,000 calories. Once we're done making this, it's going to be two loaves worth, and you're going to get around 10 slices per loaf. So that means per slice you're looking at around 200 calories, depending on the thickness of the slice. All right, so mom is going to turn on the oven to 350 degrees. We've got to preheat it for 10 minutes. I have uh, put in the butter in the microwave for around 30 seconds and just let it sit, so now it has become very liquidy and it's just kind of sitting in its own juices melting very slowly. Mom has these two individual dishes that she has used a little bit of the butter in and she's put in so that's easy to get out and it's going to bake nice and golden brown on the, outside, uh, sorry, the underside as well as the top side. Now, we're making two pans here, or two breads worth. This is going to bubble up nice and high most likely, and this is going to stay within the pan. Obviously there's a bit of a difference in size of pan. You'd want to go for this, however if you're a little tight on money, you can grab one of these maybe for even as low as a quarter or fifty cents. Alright, so step two, we have separated all the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. So mom is going to be adding all the ingredients, uh, one by one. First you go with the eggs. Mom, do you want me to be beating while you put these things in? Sure, go ahead. Alright, so I'll be here. And you just beat all the ingredients in as you put it in. If you have someone to do it with, that works out very well. Just chuck it all in, Mom, and I'll just keep beating it. So we got our, our just toss that in. That's good. So as you can see, everything's mixing up. Oh, mix, mix, mix. The melted butter goes in. Boop, boop, boop. And then the delicious vanilla extract. We started it. Stir it up, and then mom is going to add in the zucchini little by little, and the mixture is going to get nice and we beat it up. Step three, mom is going to now take all the dry ingredients and pour it in. So first we have the flour, which will be poured in in thirds. So the first third she'll pour in now, then she'll mix it all in. And this is to make sure that everything gets mixed in nicely because if there's too much flour at one shot, everything will get chalky and it'll be very, very hard to mix. Then add all the spices now. Now we're going to slowly sprinkle in the baking soda, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. And then I'm going to wait until the consistency is perfect and then add in the raisins and the walnuts to make sure that they hold their regular shape. Alright, so step four, you need to be able to evenly divide what we have here and put it into the bottoms of your tray. Uh, if you have two different trays like ours, you want to go with the standard 5 inch by 9 inch tray for the bread here. And then once you split it into two, it's going to go in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. And then you're going to let it cool for around 10 minutes or so. 
So we're just going to quickly do that and then in a moment you'll see the finished product. Alright, so it's been in the oven for 50 minutes now and then we let it cool for around 10 minutes. So here we go, bam, look at that one. Look at that, that's delicious. Mom is going to cut that one tenth of a piece we're going to show you how much that is. And here's the second loaf in the glass. Now, Mom, you can go ahead and cut that if you'd like. Alright, so she's going to cut one tenth of each. Now, as you can see, this is a loaf, but it, because of a lack of yeast, uh, it is more like a cake when you really think about it. Uh, especially because of the, also the density, oh, I'm sorry, Mom, it's also the density of the, uh, the actual ingredients which causes it not to rise as much. But I'll tell you, when I took it out, I took a little nibble, I'm not supposed to, from in on the inside there, it's so good. It's absolutely delicious. So mom, from the one tenth, the one tenth pieces that you cut here from each of the loaf, um, so we got about 20. Ooh, that's warm, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. So from the one tenth of each loaf that we have here, from the very cheap tray, and the normal glass bread tray. Mm -hmm. How much do you think the entire two loaf set costs? What do you think? What do I think? I know. What do you think? It's very rich bread, so I, I give it uh, about three dollars. Three dollars per loaf here, yeah. So everything that we've put together is around six to seven dollars for these two loaves, and you could definitely serve this as cake. Alright, so one of these servings pieces here, you're looking at around uh, around 150 to 200 calories like I said before, um, but again, the density, this is just power packed with health, and it is not like, you know, a, like a piece of cake, it is very, very thick and heavy. It's very filling. Very, very filling. Um, so let's just give it a shot, Mom. You want to try it? Yeah. Alright, let's try it out. Very soft. I like it. Awesome. So you've been baking for about 30 years now? Mm -hmm. Alright. And how do you rate it out of 10? First time trying, maybe well making it. First time making zucchini bread, I can give it almost a 10. Almost a 10, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. If you have any comments or questions, drop it in the comment section below. If you want to check out anything that pertains to the video, it'll be in the description. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening. God bless. <laughs> Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please tweet, tumble, like, share, thumbs up, plus, pin, or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe.